What's up, sons? It's Blindrod with Sound of Attack once again, and my Ether wallet has been hacked. Well, not quite hacked. What's happened is a man in the middle attack via some public domain name servers that you might be familiar with, such as Google. So stick around. Welcome back. So this issue is something I'm going to show you guys how to be aware of, as well as some other options to go ahead and make sure you're safe. I uh, just want to clarify here that it's not really an attack on my Ether wallet themselves, but more somebody that's getting in between you and your connection to my Ether wallet that is then stealing your information. To prevent this, you're going to need to go ahead and review your current public DNS, so your public domain name servers. In a lot of situations, this is going to be either your ISP, internet service provider, or if you're going super public, something like Google. There's another option that's even more secure for public domain name servers, and that's from a company called Cloudflare. Just recently on April 1st, haha, but it was not a joke, they went ahead and released their own domain name servers that you can now point your local internet to or the internet on your phone or your tablets. Now today we're going to be discussing or covering the options for desktop and home network and I encourage you to look up how to change those of course on your phone as well. The safest method here is always going to be an internal DNS but you're going to have to always go out to the internet for something and what DNS does at a very basic level is it translates the URL in your browser to a server address. So if you're, for, for example, going to google.com, you type that into your browser, and then the public DNS translates that into the server that Google is then hosted on. This can be multiple servers in some cases, or just a single server, depending on how large that website or web service is. So what happens in the case of basically what's known as a man in the middle attack is somebody figures out how to get in between you and the public DNS of your choice. At this step, what they do is they change the actual address in your browser that you typed in, the name of the website and so on, and change the destination server that you're connecting to. Now, this is what happened with my Ether wallet. So users would connect to my Ether wallet and not knowing it, essentially be connecting to a completely different server. And then what that server is doing is collecting all of your data, in this case, your private keys and so on, to then go ahead and take all of your cryptocurrency or essentially steal it, or steal as much of it as they possibly can. Now, my Ether wallet's gone ahead and tweeted out a whole bunch of warnings, along with some precautions that you can take. We're gonna talk about some other precautions that you can take over here right now. Okay, so this is the website in concern. It's gonna be the, the myetherwallet.com. The first thing that you'll be able to go ahead and confirm that you're okay with is going to be checking this little lock next to, of course, the web address. This can come up differently in different situations. This in particular is Mozilla Firefox. If you click the lock, you'll see here that it states that it's a secure connection. As opposed to that, if you are not on a secure connection, you will have this little eye and you can click down and it will say connection is not secure. Another way to confirm this is the difference between the predecessor to the address itself. So you'll have HTTPS if it's secure, and if it's not, you'll actually have HTTP or nothing at all. So keep that in mind. So the way you would accidentally go to the wrong address and not to the correct My Ether Wallet would be by typing in My Ether Wallet just in plain text and pressing enter, and then it would just direct directly to the server that they've put in the middle to redirect you to. Now there's some other precautions that we can take. If you go down to your network settings and right click and click open internet settings, and if you go all the way to the bottom, you can click networking and sharing center. Up on this screen, you can click your connections, and then here you can click details. Now under details, it's gonna give you basically everything that you're pointed towards. You're gonna have your IPv4 address, 
and then you're gonna this is gonna be on your local network and what you're looking for here is your DHCP server and your DNS servers actually in particular your DNS servers as you can see here I'm actually pointed towards an internal address but you can point this towards an external address if this is currently set to 8.8.8.8 or 8.8.4.4 then you're currently pointed towards the Google public DNS which is the currently compromised one for of course my ether wallet so click close and then you can click properties and then you're going to want to select your adapter which is this ipv4 and click properties once again and under properties you can actually set manually your dns server address however this might not be necessary because you're probably pointed at a local router and in this case I am and you really want to change where that router is pointing your public DNS to so let's click cancel here and close here and then go back to a web browser under your web browser you're gonna to want to navigate to your router now in some situations this could be controlled by your ISP in most cases if it is controlled by your ISP it's going to be pointed to your ISP's DNS I would still recommend trying to get control of that yourself no matter who you are so that you can follow tutorials like this and just further secure your network and this is in particular a an example on a Netgear system uh, specifically in Orbi so if I go down to my setup and then I click my internet setup I can go down here to domain name server so our DNS address and see it says get automatically from ISP so right now I'm pointed towards what is essentially my ISP's DNS in this case I'm going to recommend for now if you're using public DNS to switch it to the new Cloudflare if you go over here you'll check out the 1.1.1 and it's a more private way to go ahead and browse it's a new public DNS resolver um, but it is uh, more secure than others in general and one of the latest ones Cloudflare is very trusted you can go ahead and Google them and check it out there's a lot of good things here including increasing your speed but this can still be compromised let me make that very clear in this particular case we're going to be taking a look and changing it of course to our primary to 1.1.1.1 and their secondary is 1.0.0.1 at this point you'll just want to go ahead and click apply and it will update your public DNS to the Cloudflare DNS now like I said this isn't a resolve all the hackers could perform still a man in the middle attack through of course Cloudflare and seeing that I've done this video I would assume that they might even attempt to do that but for now this is going to be one of the best public options in my humble opinion for you to use and definitely avoid using Google once again that's 8.8.8.8 or 8.8.4.4 so avoid using Google right now now if you are still even if you have all of this implemented make sure that you go ahead and familiarize yourself with a non secure connection if you google this site is not secure every browser is going to be represented here and you want to find the one that is most similar to your browser a lot of IOT devices however do use this or you will see this with a lot of them or if you work in IT you probably see it every day with things like integrated management consoles and so on and so forth just be very very careful if you go to myetherwallet.com or any other sort of uh, cryptocurrency site and you get one of these notifications to so just back off of it right away or at least do not enter any of your private information to go ahead and give them the ability to steal any of your your stuff so as you can see here this site is not secure you'll have an option to where you can do more information and go to the web page anyways this is going to be an Internet Explorer and Edge option. 
This example right here is going to be a Firefox example of what it'll look like, as well as this one right here will be a Google version of what it'll look like, so Google Chrome. Alrighty, so I hope you have a better understanding of what's going on with the My Ether Wallet Man in the Middle attack. I hope it gives you enough information to not only protect you during this current situation, but with future situations that may arise. Back when Cloudflare originally released their public DNS resolver, I did intend to do a video upon it, and I may be a little late. However, I think that it's going to be the most secure option for a public DNS that you currently can obtain, and it's completely free, so you don't need to worry about that. That doesn't mean that you don't need to be safe while browsing to all of the cryptocurrency services that you currently use meaning if you ever see any of the insecure pop-ups on any of your browsers to make sure that you navigate away from that immediately of course unless you already know what you're doing and you know that that device is in particular some sort of device that you need to set up on your own other than that I recommend always moving away from those as fast as possible because essentially at that point if you connect they can start implementing anything from keyloggers to much worse stuff like things called crypto that will lock all your files and hold them at ransom. Yeah, there's crypto that does that. It's a little different than the crypto you and I are familiar with. So be very, very careful. I'll see you next Tuesday. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Check out, check out, uh, check, check out Discord if you want to talk about it more. Peace.